still got 16th. I'm at a uh, 15 16th right there. And I hope that it cleans it up. You know, it's uh, it's turning, it's turning good. It's got a nice, nice toughness to it. It's uh, it's like a good mix of um, oh, bronze and nickel. <laughs> Let's bring it on down some more. Should left with about eight. Yeah, got eight thousandths. Now right here there was a there was a bit of a radius cut in there, and we'll probably go in there with a with my little parting tool and and uh, cut that radius out. This definitely is a little low right there. We may get away with that though. Okay guys, this is the the <clears throat> second weld that I made on it, building it up. Cause I had some low spots still in here. And on this end right here, I had I still had some low spots. So I went ahead and just built it all up again. And and hopefully this time I've got it all. I really hope that I do. So we're gonna find out. I probably won't show it all again, but you know, I'll give you some highlights and pull you through uh, at the end here. I need to go ahead and get the end cleaned up again. Still got 30, 30 to come off. It looks like it's it's doing a lot better now. I'm still gonna have a little bit there on the end, but not as much as I did the first time. Okay, got about 10 thousandths. Yep, 10 thousandths to come off. All right, I'm gonna break that in two cuts. I don't wanna take it all at once because that was a heavy cut that I just made. So I'll do it in five thousandths cuts. Okay, I just made my finished cut here on the impeller end. I'm right on it there. So in about a half a thousandth over, which is good. <clears throat> that leaves me enough that I can, right there is uh, right there is right on at 875. So all I gotta do is just buff this a little bit and that'll be good. We're gonna have to chamfer the end, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this in. I'm gonna move on down here and uh, get going on this one. All right, that's my first rough and cut here. And that's leaving me with about 25 to 30 thousandths to clean up. 
I went ahead and come down here first and made sure I was on my shoulder properly. We'll have to do a little cleanup right here too. Getting a little heavy. Okay guys, I'm making my finished pass here. And it looks like everything's working out great the second time around. All right, it's cleaned up. It looks a little Looks a little funny right there, but it cleaned it up. All right, so I need to do a little bit with this area right here too. I'm gonna come in here and just try to straighten it up. I'm gonna come in here on this shoulder with this uh, little radius tool and go ahead and just make that, cut that. That was an undercut right there that I filled in. We're gonna go ahead and clean it up. down in there where it was at okay that was pretty good we'll go ahead and knock that corner off right there There she is finished up. I got both of them polished down to size and they're both dead nuts on. I got this one 875 and this one's one inch. And that stuff actually, it machines nice and it, and it finishes nice. It leaves a nice shiny finish. It's kind of like, it's kind of like machine is stainless, but with the, the chipping action of bronze, that's kind of what it's like. So, Next step, I, I got to go to the milling machine and I got to uh, mill that 3 16 key in it and then this thing will be done. All right, got it clamped in the Kurt Vice level. Got it sitting on a machine, it, a uh, Sterrett machinist jack on the backside to uh, just support it. And I've already got it centered, used my edge finder. So now I'm going to touch off, find the flat, go, uh, what is it, three. Um, 93,000 steep is what it'll be once I get my flat established. Uh, 330 seconds, that's what I was thinking of there.
I just bring it down until it looks like it's cutting a full circle and then I feel it and I got a little edge there so I know I'm uh, I've got my flat established so now I'll set my zero and just go ahead and bring it up 90 93 thousandths which is half the half the depth of a 3 16 keyway okay I'm just gonna watch it come up real close to that shoulder also okay get some plug coolant going get it out and do some deburring we'll be done all right guys we got this one finished up and I think it's gonna work out pretty good this is a for me this is kind of a fairly new technique to try because I never I never used that torch very much I, I have for a few jobs way in the past and I just kept it put away and never never really bothered you using it for anything but I want to start pulling it out and, and trying to make use of of that utiloid process because it is very helpful on some jobs and something like this I mean it it flows and it bonds just like if you was brazing with a brazing rod so it's you know it's it's stuck to the the base metal great and it's leaving a a uh, corrosion resistant surface on there so I don't have to worry about it rusting the customer don't have to worry about that rusting and just deteriorating away um, but I would be curious to see how this holds up after an extended period of time you know a few years down the road and in this area here also see this is the main reason why they bring these kind of shafts to me is because the factory you know they make these out of carbon steel and then this is a this is a sealing area right in here and it rusts and corrodes and won't seal. So they usually want me to turn this down and put a sleeve on there. And that's usually how I fix it. And it's just as good a fix as doing it like this, but this is something that not many people can do around here. I don't know if anybody that does do it, you know, I don't know if anybody has that system. So I got the powder, so I wanted to give it a shot. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do some more. I've got those other two shafts that I might uh, do the same thing, fill those keyways up and recut them. So anyway, guys, this one's done. And uh, I'm going to go work on my welding table project now. See you guys later.